Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Biggie Boy Jarzinho Rosenstrike. All right, so here he is, the man they call Biggie Boy and the first native of Little Suriname to cross into the UFC. Heavyweight contender and a bona fide one at that, Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Outstanding rookie year in the UFC in 2019. Won all four of his fights, all four of them by knockout. None bigger, of course, than that lip separation of Alistair Overeem that set up a future fight with Francis Ngannou. A lot of people feel like Rosenstrike is the future. They'll try to be the present here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pelota, Yazinho, Biggie Boy, Rose and Strike. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. It was UFC 217 championship triple header. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Nama Yunus knocked out Joanna Jacek. And we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us. And we looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 
Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Big body kick lands. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And they separate. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows touch to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big head kick land. Good punch. Big right hook coming. It's locked. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, nice jab. All right, single collar tie now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Rosen strikes lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Oh, collar tie. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Rosenstrike gets in the clinch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. Get out of there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Rosen strike gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on stick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice kick there by Lee. Five minutes in the books. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making.
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. And they separate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice. Big leg kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. And both guys really throwing with authority. Relax. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good stick. Oh, big head kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, single collar tie here. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Unable to connect there. Rosen strikes lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Big kick. So the taller fighter lands a huge flying knee there. He blocks the punch. Straight punch lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big leg kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Got the single collar tie. Nice strike. Nice shot to the body there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he comes through with a big knee. Huge block there. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Connects there with the punch. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Left hand punch from the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. This strike gets the takedown there. Ten minutes in the book. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, no Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays, body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch, Lance. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Rosen strike and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. Right hand on point. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Way to hide that leg kick. Rosen strike gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's back to the spot, punch position. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses with the jab. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, Rosen strike, strike attempt there is blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful hit. You got to whip this hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Nice head kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Beautiful strike. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Can't take many of those, you better check. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice head kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nice kick. He's got 
Lesnar going at it. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Five single collar tie now. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Big kick lands. That's Where's three rounds in the can. Oh. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Listen, you got to protect the body. He's landing way too many body shots. What is that about? All right, you're way too good for that. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty uh, good ready? previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a Let's very go. competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect this body to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Liver kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big punch land. Motion strike gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Lee. Single collar tie here. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Motion strike gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, straight right. Whoa! All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loves, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of... He's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Escape. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes for the pin. And he's out. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Piggy Boy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for very bad. Oh, he might be out. Rosen strike goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Nice right here. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Rosen strike shot is blocked. Right hand punch from the clinch. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this speed. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away in one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Punch over the top. Oh, 
Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without it. And they separate. Nice defense there. Huge block. That's a big strike right there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. And they set it. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! Back to the feet. tie there. How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. With that punch, his chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice body kick. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. More than one, more than one. Lee's hook shot is blocked. I saw that coming from a mile away. Hook counter there yet again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Tie. Oh, holy smokes! He put him to Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! Oh, and that one snaps ahead back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.